homesteading with the brewers. This is Lacey Brewer. Um, today we're going to share with you how we make our dishwasher tabs. Um, first off, we have in the past um, used these little cheapo ice cube trays and we're actually going to have to use them again today because my husband and I went to the store to get these. Um, we went to the Walmart and these are the quick release trays. Uh, if you look here, it's got silicone on the bottom, so they're a little bit more easily removed than, you know, than this. I'm going to tell you something, though, since we're going to have to use these trays, before I even show you this, a big, big tip. After your, uh, your tabs set for the night, when you go to re release them, if you can't just get four of these, which is what you're going to need, because this recipe here makes 48 tabs. Um, all you do is you'll flip this over, you're going to take a spatula or something, and you're just going to hit the back of it until it releases. Um, we were trying to avoid having to do that by getting these, but we just didn't get enough. Anyway, um, here's the ingredients. You need four to make this recipe. We have the um, super washing soda. We're going to use, a, I believe, a cup of that. You can make a cup of that um, in another one of our videos. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can turn your uh, baking soda into washing soda uh, to save a little bit of money. But we ran out of time, so I just picked this up from the laundry aisle. Uh, we're going to use a half a cup of baking soda, a cup of coarse sea salt. If you don't want to get sea salt, you can get kosher salt. That's fine, too. Um, and then citric acid, um, we're going to use a half a cup of that. So a cup of the uh, washing soda, half a cup of baking soda, a cup of sea salt, coarse or kosher salt, and then uh, half a cup of the citric acid. Citric acid isn't really that easy to find. Um, they do have it in the canning section at Walmart. I don't remember how much it costs. I think it's like three or four dollars for a container. You need to make sure you're getting at least half a cup's worth, um, which would be four ounces. Um, I got this one here. It's Soap Expression Citric Acid. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It was originally $5.99. Um, I used a 40% off coupon. You can get it on their app if you have a Hobby Lobby. I know I wrote this down. I ended up spending $3.59 for a pound of the citric acid. You can also order it online. Um, I just found that to be the easiest way to get a hold of it. Um, another thing you need, and I, I don't know what your preference is, but I picked this up at Walmart. It's like a little cookie jar, but it's airtight. It's got this like seal. You can use a mason jar, um, whatever you can find or whatever you have on hand. You lift this tab up, and we're going to store our tabs in here. I'll probably end up doing more batches than what I share with you guys because we like to just get it all done. Another thing that our family holds on to are these uh, silica gel packets. Anytime we buy beef jerky or, you know, get a new pair of shoes, these little things come in everything and they come in really handy for a lot of things. I keep a Ziploc baggie with these. So if one of us gets our phone a little wet, you can toss it in there with a couple of these packs and it'll dry out your phone. But we're going to go ahead and throw a couple of them in here into our container. And that's just to prevent moisture from getting in our dishwasher tabs. When they're done, we'll store them in here. Just put them under the sink where you normally keep your stuff. Now you guys are going to notice something. These four ingredients, none of them are liquid. How are we going to make tabs stick together with no liquid? Well, that's going to be thanks to the citric acid. That's going to create a cool reaction, which is going to harden <clears throat> the tabs to keep their shape. And we're going to use that reaction to our benefit by making it form these tabs. So I'm going to get this out of the way. <clears throat> and show you what we do. It's actually pretty simple. We're going to pour each ingredient in a mixing bowl. And I'm going to go ahead and wear gloves simply because the citric acid, it's acid and it burns cuts a little bit. It can strip the nail polish off your nails. We're going to get this all in here. 
and we're going to go ahead and stir it up. Now if you want to use essential oils, that's fine. You can throw a few drops of your essential oils in there. Um, I know some people would like to replace the citric acid with lemon juice, and that's fine too. We've done that in the past as well. Um, I found that they didn't hold their shape very well when we used the, uh, the lemon juice, and I honestly didn't really like the smell of it, to be quite honest. I've known other people to use unsweetened uh, lemon lemonade packets that are Kool-Aid. I've never done that. But this is how we're going to do ours. We're going to do ours in a cool reaction. Now, we could just leave this sitting here overnight and come back, and we would just have a big, hard clump of it in the morning and we don't want that get this mixed up I wish I had a whisk that would have probably been a bit better but we're gonna use this tablespoon to measure out <clears throat> what we're putting in these ice cube trays this is the first time we've made a cool reaction by not using any liquid so I'm interested to see how this is going to turn out. I've heard other people say that um, it becomes so rock hard they were scared when they put it in their wash machine or in their dishwasher, I'm sorry, that um, they didn't think it was going to disintegrate and wash their dishes, but they were pleasantly surprised it started fizzing and bubbling up right away and got their dishes really clean. Uh, something that I'm going to discuss while I fill these up with you guys is that we also have a homemade recipe for a rinsing, like jet dry. Um, we will be making a video on that probably next week. Um, a lot of the people that make this homemade uh, dishwasher tabs, they notice that they'll get some uh, the, the scaling on their, on their dishes or the cloudiness and water spots. And I've recommended before that you can just put some distilled white vinegar in your in your rinse aid. But um, now that we have a recipe for that, and it's a very tried and true one, uh, we're going to be sharing that with you guys as well. So we're just going to go ahead and start pouring a tablespoon of this in each one. And I'm going to make a mess a little bit because I can go in and clean it up afterwards. I know this is kind of tedious work. My uh, handy dandy cameraman husband, Mr. Brewer, is welcome to pause the video and unpause it after I get this all done. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we went ahead and got all this poured in here. Now, um, because we are such a large family, we have industrial sized everything. Um, that's not normal for everybody. Um, if you have a standard size wash machine, you would only put a tablespoon in each cube. Um, we did a little bit more than that because we have industrial sized everything. Uh, one tablespoon uh, would make, and this one holds a little bit more than 12, um, it'll make 48 one tablespoon tabs, which is what is recommended for a standard size uh, dishwasher. And that all total, came up to $2.62 for 48 tabs. That's looking at a little bit, roughly over five cents per tab. Um, the cheapest one that I found online was 7.2 cents per tab. So does that save you a lot? In the long run, yes. Um, they sell those in very, very big bulk quantities in order to get that. So you have to spend quite a bit to get that discount at 7.2 cents. And I believe that these work better and they're more environmentally friendly, uh, better for you and your family. Just do your research and, you know, decide if this is something for you. Um, I may check back later on this and we'll check it out and see how it's, uh, how it's chemically changed. It's starting this, uh, this cool reaction into hardening. Right now I'm a little surprised because it's still very powdery so I don't know what this is going to do so much but I'm excited to kind of find out what this does and we will visit that later before I post this video and at the end of this video we'll do a, a price breakdown. Again I can show you what we're doing here for our own family but for yours and your normal size dishwashers 
um, you're going to spend roughly five, almost five and a half cents per tap. Uh, I hope this helps you and your family. I hope it helps you save you money. Um, I know that's a big deal for large families. Anywhere where you can cut some corners is really good. Um, we'll check this out in a little while and see what it's doing. All right, so we're doing our check-in on uh, our uh, homemade dishwasher tabs. Um, I was I said we were going to check how hard they are. They're hard as a rock. And that was all powder, so that was the cool reaction that we just discussed. And uh, now it's going to be time to get them in our container with our little silica gel packets. Um, <laughs> before <laughs> I... <laughs> Restarted this video. Um, I popped out one of these. I was on the phone with my husband and it scared me half to death It kind of like shot out. It was really funny with these uh, these ice cube trays that have the uh, Silicone on the back, but they just it just pops right out. So It's kind of hard to hold the see <laughs> These are like my new favorite thing. They just pop right on out. I like that now you can use whatever molds that, um, that you have. I would just recommend that you keep in mind how much space you have in your um, your compartment in your dishwasher when you're when you're making these. I've seen some people use egg cartons. They're you know pretty reusable. I like the ice cube trays. These fit into my compartment in in our dishwasher perfectly. And see, it comes out nice little tabs. You just put them right in, and that's hard. We'll start filling this up. I am going to make a few more batches um, for our family. Uh, there's times I'm running two to three loads a day of dishes, which is just part of being in a big family. I'm going to show you real quick. If I can't get these to come out um, the way that we've done them in the past, and you may get some little loose flakes there from the salt. I'm just going to flip that over and I showed y'all. You can just beat it. I know it's kind of loud. I don't want to hurt y'all's ears. But see, they can pop out like that. I don't want to do that with y'all on there. But they're just perfect tab shaped little things. Alright guys, this is our uh, how to do the cool reaction of our dishwasher tabs. I hope you enjoyed this. I encourage you guys to, you know, try different recipes, see which one works for you. If you want to use the lemon juice or you want to use lemon essential oils, you can go for it. It'll just take a little bit longer to dry, and that's fine too. We left these overnight. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you think somebody could, you know, save some money or have some use out of this, please share the video. Um, if you If you liked it, subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified when we post future videos. I do have a couple coming um, in the future. Pretty soon I'm going to be posting uh, how to do your own homemade uh, jet dry or rinse aid that's not just vinegar. Um, so stay tuned for that. You guys take care and until next time, bye!